I can't believe it already, but um, 2020 is literally right around the corner. Today is the 30th, 30th of December. That's insane. <laughs> That's really insane. A lot has happened this year for me. Um, a lot of ups and downs, but a lot of personal growth as well. And I can't say I would go back and change any of it. So to kind of start off the year a little early, I'm going to be doing a room slash studio tour because I am wanting to make more videos this year as a resolution. Um, I can't say how regular I'm going to be, but I want to be making more videos. So yeah, let's get to that. I also totally forgot to introduce myself. Why hello there, and welcome to my wonderfully weird channel. I'm your gracious host, Coffee, and today's video is going to be a room studio tour. So without further ado, let's get to it. Oh, and uh, by the way, this will be like a disclaimer in the beginning, even though it's after me filming all of the clips. Um, this is by no means me bragging about anything that I have, okay? A lot of this stuff, was gifted to me by my parents for Christmas over the years. I'm 19, I'm gonna be 20 next year. So a lot of it is just um, a buildup over the years of all of the stuff that I have. I also bought a lot of the stuff myself, like a bunch of the art supplies I bought, um, a bunch of the stuffed animals I bought, a bunch of the pop vinyls I bought. So a lot of this is just over the years collection. On to the tour. So entering my room from the hallway, I close my door and I have this hanging mirror right here along with a hat that I got from a concert. Oh, a Bowling for Soup concert. Love them so much. Thank you, Matt, for taking me to that. Um, it's got some pumpkin lights that I taped to it because, uh, yeah. Then turning, we have my original Helsing anime wall scroll i absolutely love this anime so much the original and ova it's probably one of my favorites also fuels my love for dracula <laughs> right here we have a big old cardboard box for the lobo stand-up that's in the corner one of my portfolios for school along with a big sketchbook and a couple of posters that I have yet to hang up because i really don't have the space for it right we now. also have my slytherin wall banner couple hats. Here is my Vans hat. also have my Pennywise hat, which I've had for quite a while, with an Art Snacks pin on it. Then we have my purse, which I typically take with me everywhere. My school backpack, which is just hanging out right there for now because the semester has yet to start back up again. A bag of bags. I don't know why, but I have one in my room. We also have one under the sink. It's for my trash can. Yeah. Then right here, we have a little double shelf. So down here, we have some of my art supplies, my pen color pencils, my Copic markers, my paints and paint brushes. Also up here, we have some perfume, nail polish, band-aids, a deodorant, typical stuff. On top, my keys in my homemade dice box, which I just use as a key thing. I love you, but stop licking. Then we have my calendar which is by the lovely Tracy Butler. I forgot her name for a second, but she does the lovely comic called Lackadaisy, which is set in the 1920s in St. Louis. And it's about these cats. It's really good. I recommend Over checking here, it out. Here we have my closet, which is covered by this wonderful sun. It's very ominous. Nothing special behind my curtain. It's just my clothes, shoes, makeup, face cleaning stuff. All my old sketchbooks. I have so many. Turning once more from Mr. Sun, we have my drawers and my tank. So in here is Loki. He's currently asleep because he happens to be in brumation at the moment. But this is his tank. I let him out almost every day whenever he's more awake. Right now he's just resting. If you don't know what brumation is, I recommend looking it up. This is where I usually keep my underwear, pajamas, lizard stuff, and extra storage. That's the stool so I can get up there. Right now I just have my Vault Boy uh, cereal and Vault Tech cookbook just chilling there for now. I also have a couple of extra purses, so my backpack, which I also love using, 
and my Star Trek Spock cat purse. I got that at a convention and it is super cute. Those are cleaning supplies for the bathroom that I need to put in there. Shifting over, we have this little corner where my vent happens to be. So my base Lobo just chills here whenever I'm not playing him. I have some posters and prints that I still need to hang up. They've just been chilling there until I do. Then I have my sketchbooks that I'm currently using, sketchbooks that I will eventually use, and a watercolor pad, I believe. Right here is my witchy altar. I keep all of my crystals and my tarot cards, my fox skull. And yes, it's a real fox skull, by the way. I dug it up in the woods and cleaned it and sealed it with glue. Then we have my plants, which get a lot of sun. I've had these two for about two years now. As you can see, this one has two blooms on it. Um, it lasts for about a week and then dies. And I think it only gets one once a year. The yellow bloom was really beautiful. I can't remember what this one is called, but I know this is a tiger's jaw. And um, these are my dying green onions. I need to just throw those away. I also happen to have a mannequin that just stands there staring outside. My witchy altar sits on top of a couple of storage bins and in here is where I keep a lot of stuff. First drawer is where I typically keep all of my art supplies that I get from art snacks and where I when I used to get sketchbox but I don't anymore. Second drawer has a bunch of paper and old old drawings along with some thank you cards. Third drawer actually contains an amalgamation of stickers, markers for my bullet journaling, some angelarium tarot cards, uh, looks like a D&D &D sheet. It's just a kind of a catch-all drawer right now. And we come down to these two, which are separate units. This one has a lot more stickers and to-do lists that you can fill out. My washi tape, some string and some office supplies in this little box right here. This drawer contains my old laptop from about 2012, I believe, when I first started digital art. It's a matte fixative spray, all of my paint tubes, and what looks to be an old sketchbook down there. And this big boy is another storage unit. In front of it, I typically keep my laundry hamper, and my yarn stuff, I'm currently untangling that skein because I tried to find the end and I ended up destroying the entire skein just to find the end. It was such a pain. <laughs> this drawer is a bunch of crafting supplies. So we have some sewing stuff, stuff for making candy jewelry, which I love to make, some ribbon, crayons, embroidery stuff, toothpicks, felt, ruler, scotch tape, some Mod Podge. It's a very much so crafting drawer. Also, this is for holding down uh, stamp bases that you're carving. I do have a carved stamp base. Red drawer contains lots and lots of paints. My Arteza water, Arteza gouache colors are in there. More paints are in here. Um, I typically keep the majority of the tubes down there, but I keep some in here as well. I also have my old watercolor set that I don't use anymore. Some paints that I got from Sketchbox. These guys came from Sketchbox. My stamp that I made. You can't really see them that well, but it's a little sniff. Uh, some ink that I use for the stamp and more paints. A lot of my paint brushes are kept in my paintbrush bag where I feel they are, ooh, where I feel they are a bit safer. Orange drawer, we have embroidery stuff. Well, some embroidery stuff. We've got more painting stuff where I keep my water, some old paper that I lay down whenever I paint, some embroidery thread. This feels like, what is this? Ah, so my Sharpies and stuff that I keep in here. These guys are for sculpting and plaster use. And this is more palettes that I- In this yellow drawer, I have a bunch of ink stuff. So I've got all sorts of drawing pens, all sorts of drawing pens, ink work stuff that I use, more drawing pens, um, some Liquitex spray, a lot of ink that I keep in here. Like this is like ink that you would use with a dip pen or special wash pens. 
So green drawer, we have paper and old sketchbooks. These guys were actually from my dad. They're beautiful prints done by Timothy Bradstreet vampires. Oh, I love them so much. They're so pretty. I keep them in here because I really just don't want them to get damaged. Um, but this drawer is mainly used for older sketchbooks and soap, apparently. Oh yeah, my mom got those when she was away on vacation. I just kept them in the there. The last three drawers are kind of just storage units. The bottom one really doesn't even have anything in it. Um, it's got the wheels because this thing is supposed to have wheels, but it can't in my room. So down here we have a bunch of old sketchbooks. This one is from Purnell. I love this little Purnell stamp thank you thing that she handed out with some of her prints she gave out, some stamps. Um, a really nice Dollar Rowney Aquafine watercolor palette that you can use like on one hand. My Crayola pen. Old sketchbooks and some candles that don't fit in my candle holders. I need new ones because they melt over every And time. again, these guys are just more old sketchbooks and some pencils. Over here is kind of like my book area. Well, kind of, I say. So as you can see, I have my Lobo stand-up. Um, that's what the box over in the corner is for. Right here, I happen to have my comic books. This is my almost exclusive Lobo comic box, and this is my other comic box. And then I have a bunch of stuffed animals that do not fit on the bed. If you can't tell, foxes are my favorite animal. And then we get to my bookcase. So i got some pop vinyls over here, just Chucky and Bill Cipher, some more fox figurines, my old diffuser that I just keep there, uh, my DVD player and my Apple TV and my clock. It's a couple minutes slow. So then on my wall, I have some paintings that I did of my character, Sad Clown. This was the painting that I did a speed paint of, but was never able to get the footage to properly work on my computer, and I was very disappointed about that. Over here we have my Lobo drawing that is going to be my tattoo when I get enough money. Oh, I love it so much. And then I have a print from Bad Straws. If you don't know who she is, she is a very wonderful artist who works for DC. Um, I was cosplaying Crush whenever I got this. Not gonna lie, it was a very bad cosplay of her, but Bab still really liked it, and I was very it kind of embarrassed. Not gonna lie. Some books. These guys I'm currently reading. I've read all of these. Um, I've got Frankenstein and Dracula here, one of my favorites. I also have my anime manga section down here. I'm still looking for more Helsing manga because I really want the whole series, but for now I just have the first one. Then I have my Lobo Collected Edition, Lackadaisy Books, some illustrative magazines that I got, some how to draw books because I can't say I know any artist who doesn't have one. <laughs> and then down here behind that all is actually DVDs, but I have these huge monster book of mangas that I still need to find a place for somewhere in my closet. And then behind this one is actually my amp for my base. Moving over from all of that, we have my bed and my puppy sleeping on my bed. Are you comfy, puppy? Yeah, she's comfy. So yeah, this is my bed. That is a wedge pillow that goes between your legs. It's a very nice pillow. It's just sitting there, kind of looking like a funny shark tooth. But we can look at the wall. So I have my Beetlejuice poster, my Lobo poster. These two are done by the same artist. Uh, can't remember his name off the top of my head, but I should be able to find him later. A print of Simon Bisley Lobo from 91. No, 92, sorry. Very, very good condition for a print from back then. It's quite old. A print of Lobo that my dad made for me for my birthday. I love it so much. It's a one of a kind because it has special airbrushing on it that he did only for me. Thank you, Dad. Then, of course, we have the wonderful Doug Mankey hanging on my wall. Doug Mankey is one of my all-time inspirations for Lobo. He also is the artist who did the mask. His artwork is grungy, wonderful, and so damn 
awesome like so inspiring if you want some good comic art highly recommend checking out doug Mankey. uh you can find him on instagram he's got some of the best batman joker art i've seen as well so yeah and then we have my breakfast club poster which by the way is one of my absolute favorite movies like seriously so yeah that's my uh little bed area i do have some storage bins under my bed but they were mainly just storage bins for like crafting supplies and old memories so moving yeah. up from my bed we have my three shelves that hold a lot of my collectibles slash inspirations so this one over here is mainly like a fox <clears throat> so this one's mainly for fox stuff it's got a couple of old memories over there but i've got my savage dragon action figure and then a bunch of just fox paraphernalia some fox ears fox ears yeah love me some foxes <laughs> this shelf right here is kind of a catch-all for a lot of my fandoms that i love i have some a beetlejuice pop vinyl a bunch of supernatural stuff a homemade patch of sniff right there a peter chris vinyl which is original by the way uh, my dad gave it to me after we had a flood from our water heater freaking out and breaking. So it's probably not playable, but I keep it for collector's purpose because Peter Chris is my favorite KISS member. Then I have a homemade scale mate my best friend gave to me back in high school. I can't remember his name. I think it was Honey Bee or something like that because Solix is my troll patron. So, yes. Then we have a bunch of pop vinyls. We have Beetlejuice right there. Then we have Pennywise, Bojack. You good? Kaecilius, Scout from Team Fortress 2. My favorite Fortnite skin, which happens to be Drift. And then Moana over there, but really we just got her for Poa, which is right next to her. Then we have a couple of prints that I got from Tea Turtle and a feather and some drawings i made for myself of tattoos that i want and wanted. this is my main pop vinyl shelf along with my vulpix and hellboy shrine um if you can't tell vulpix is my favorite pokemon i love the alolan vulpix but i also love the irregular vulpix as well and we've got Gigi from kiki's delivery service uh my shot glass from the hard rock cafe in st louis before it closed in my pansexual flag then we have uh my favorite pops so the beetlejuice infernal room i got for christmas it was so nice like it's amazing i love it so much because he even has the spikes coming out of him and everything then we have my beetlejuice lydia variations the uh guide beetlejuice and wedding lydia and the wedding beetlejuice and regular lydia then we have Pennywise, and there's Pennywise behind the fist, my two Hellboys, the one from the comic and the one from the most recent movie. I have a Dracula from Castlevania, Yondu, and a couple of Davids from the Lost Boys series. If you've never seen the Lost Boys, it is a very good vampire movie. And then coming down, we come to my desk area. Right here is my desk chair. Come on. My desk chair, it actually has a lumbar support pillow underneath this blanket for my back because I had to have physical therapy back in sophomore year of high school because I had a weird curve in my back. Uh, we have Blippins, my squishy fox that I keep in my lap whenever I draw, kind of just as a elbow rest. I have Blippins Jr. in my car because <laughs> he's like that big compared to him. Uh, this fox blanket that is extremely soft I put on my legs if I get cold and a couple of jackets that is my work hoodie and underneath it is just a skull cardigan that I've been wearing recently Leaving the chair aside we get to my fox rug that my ex got me we are still good friends and we chit chat all the time but he got me this back when we were dating over here I have my I guess jewelry bucket it's kind of a catch-all. It's got my PSP, the charger for it. Uh, I say mine, it's my dad's, but he lets me play on it. My headphones, my charger for my tablet, and right next to it is a box that has the box for my tarot cards. Right behind that, we have a tiny little shelf that underneath it has these two little card boxes. 
right there is some candy that my sister gave me for Christmas and that little gift bag for Christmas contains just a bunch of little knickknacks that I'm gonna keep there until I use them all. Coming up here, we have my main desk area. So this is where I sit and do my homework or work. Um, it's got my tablet, my pen for my tablet and my drawing glove and this brand new PSP controller that my dad got me because I can play um, PlayStation Now on my tablet and it is amazing. Right here I have my bullet journal which I'm trying to get back into. It's just, it's been a lot because of my new job and school but I'm trying to be dedicated to it in this upcoming year. I say trying, I might not use it every day, but I'm gonna try and use it regularly because I noticed that I work better if I have a list. Right here is my drink station because you can see I have one, two, three drinks. My water bottle, my energy drink, and my tea. And that glass is for the energy drink. Um, yeah, I have a bad habit of just having a bunch of drinks. Um, up here is my little Fox Peanut. He's my earring guardian. He chills there all the time. Right here is a couple of tails. I got this one off of Wish for a dollar. It's a beautiful blonde fox tail. Um, I didn't know it was real at the time when I bought it, but I, it's definitely real. <laughs> and so is this one behind it, which is a blue and black stripe. Back when I had my blue hair, it was on my backpack. On top of my Uh, tails is some of my comic convention necklaces. I got this from Springfield and this one from Archon, which is a uh, Star Trek convention. It was a lot of fun. Then there is my little Ikea lamp. I've had this guy for a couple of years now. He's not the brightest, but he does the trick. Then I have a couple of pen holders. So this holds my typically used brush pens and artistry stuff. And this one is my just regular work stuff with my scissors, my ruler, my regular writing pens, and all of that good stuff. Well, there's a sharpener down there. I forgot about that. Then I've got a couple of things. So I got this note from my mom. Even though I live at home, she like mailed it to me. <laughs> it sounds funny. That's why that sticky note's there, because it's got my address. But it's essentially her saying I'm so proud of you for going to college. And yeah, I just keep it there because it's good inspiration. And I've got my workout routine that I definitely have not done. I've just kept it up there because it looks like I actually do something. <laughs> then I have my Instamax camera, which I got a couple of Christmas ago. I love using it. And I actually just got some new film for it so I can finally go back to taking more pictures because I was running out of film and I just didn't have the time to buy some. Yeah, thanks mom and dad. I've got a couple of inks because I've been working on a comic. This one I just picked up today. I need, actually not today, a couple of days ago. I need to test it out and use it. Over here is kind of a mishmash shelf. I've got my um, glasses case, glasses cleaner. Then this little book has my um, Instamag pictures in it. A couple of uh, CD cases that I really like from artists I really enjoy. Another little desk fox just hiding out in his den. Up here, we've got some razors that did not work with my razor head. My dad told me to hang on to them though. So that's what I'm gonna do. Then we have Vegeta, my favorite anime character of all time. I'm dead serious. I love him so much. <laughs> and then a bunch of pens that I use for inking and stuff. And then some gum and then Oscar and Bluebell, who used to be my lanyard companions back in high school, and then some rings and a sharpener. On this side, we happen to have a couple of more hats. Um, we have my Dipper Gravity Falls hat and my BPRD dad hat. I love that hat so much. Then moving up, we have my Lobo Shrine. It is mostly a Lobo Shrine. Uh, we have my Lobo socks, my first appearance Lobo, Mega Man 1983, third issue, signed by Keith Giffen. Need to get it signed by Alan Grant, but yeah, that was awesome. 
my old work ID that has my Lobo drawing on it. It's not my art. I believe the artist is Genjo Man, but I could be wrong. Then we have my Lobo Pop Finals, my bloody one, my regular, another bloody one that I got for a work gift party that I keep in the box, my Lobo Lego set with trapped Superman and Lobo looking cheeky as ever, and my Teen Titans issue 23 variant cover. I can't remember who the guy is who did this cover, but damn, he made Lobo sexy. I got a thing for guys with fuzz and bangs. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then we have some candles. I typically burn my yummy scented candles, although this one's almost gone. Uh, my Gemini candle, which smells like peppermint. It's very nice. My Papa 3 pop vinyl, which I love so much. He's from Ghost. My Hellboy figurine. He's so cute. My little vault boy. He's just chilling. I got him out of the cereal box. And then we have some jars of moon water, rain water. My cactus, which stays back here. His name is Negan. I got him in 2017. He's mean. He's so mean. He stabs me like every time. Then some candles. You see, these are the candles that I was talking about that melted over the side. I got these candles from Dollar Tree and I got these candle holders from Ikea. So that might be a reason why they don't work so well. And I've got more candles, um, more candles, incense that I'm not allowed to burn because it gives my mom a headache. And this is one of my incense holders, which is very beautiful. It's meant to have the back flow cone that has it flow out into those leaves. It's very pretty. And then this incense holder, which is a sugar school. The box that it came in had a house centipede. I nearly cried. It was so scary. <laughs> yeah, that is my Lobo shrine. And that essentially is my whole room slash studio. Um, I say room slash studio because I still live with my parents. I'm a college kid. I am lucky enough to be able to commute to school. But yeah, this is where I do my art. Um, my desk is where I'm probably going to be filming. I actually got some contact paper so I can replace this old top because it's very gross. It's got scratches and cuts in it from back when I was playing with my knife as a child. That's just what I would do. Don't recommend it. Don't play with knives, kids. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show it off in case you guys had any questions about what my room slash studio looks like. Obviously, it's not always this clean. I literally just finished cleaning it. Um, if you want to see my cleaning process, you can go look at my TikTok video that I made about it. So, yeah. So, that's the end of the tour. It. <laughs> and comment down below what kind of videos you would like to see from me in 2020. I'm planning on posting more character design videos, more videos talking about the process of being an art student at a school that is not art-centered. Um, yeah. Just comment down below any videos you'd like to see from me. That's all I really have to say right now. Um, I got some gloves that help with joint pain. They're very nice. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today. And as always, be kind and stay wonderfully weird. Mwah. Love you guys.